Yeah, yeah, like yeah exactly. What? Snooze. A zin is like a snooze? A zin is like a snooze. I hope that's clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dr. Snooze, the guy who's really high on nicotine. <laughs> it's, um, it's like a tea bag full of tobacco. You jam it in your upper gum lip area. Okay, What's that called? The, the fold. What's yeah, a, it looks like fold. one of those silica packets, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Except yeah. it's tobacco. Don't eat it. Oh, my God. Tobacco rape! I remember Eric Adams. Who could forget? Yeah. Is he the mayor yet? Is he just running to be the mayor? Oh, he, no, no, he's, no, he's, he's been the mayor for a while. Has he? Yeah, yeah he's, he's, thank God someone else doesn't. Know. I always thought all the mental speeches he was making were part of his sort of like trying no, to get no, people to elect mayor. him. Okay, I just listened to a long podcast about Eric Adams, so you can ask me anything. Well, I didn't know about the Persian thing, but <laughs> I will say <laughs> that would be a fun podcast. Someone describing a podcast they just That's exactly to. what I'm what I'm what this is. Oh, yeah, sorry, he's Leo, also this is what the this Shah is. of Iran. So this is this is from last year. He says. What a crowd. And everyone says that you know how to throw a party. Last year, I was so proud to march in the Persian Day Parade, and I was the first New York City mayor to do so. And by doing so, I was acknowledged to be the Persian mayor. <laughs> so I'm the first Persian mayor. I love how he thinks yeah. that's how nationalities work. Yeah, that's parade, immigration. Parades, yeah. Um, yeah. That's what I got my British citizenship. I did a little parade. You marched, so up, and, you marched up and down the corridor on the embassy. Yeah. <laughs> he claims he's vegan when he's not. And then, okay. so he, his right, whole, I know his, that. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Haven't we actually? all? Haven't we all? <laughs> He's just an, he just has an eating disorder, actually. <laughs> his whole approach is that he has plant-based solutions for everything. So he's like, has okay. a plant-based solution for homelessness and he has a plant-based solution yeah, cigarette. for- cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> well, just like, give the homeless cigarettes and then they're cool. But then basically every- Look, every I get asked for cigarettes has. by the homeless a lot. That's definitely one of the top things One of the they, plant-based solutions they want from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, always, I imagine the top thing they want is is a house, in fairness to them. But I think in terms of things they can realistically get out of me, cigarettes is pretty high up there on the list. Uh, but you, mm. you're, no, you're on Zins now. No, I'm not on Zins. Tom's on Zins. I saw you on Zins. I tried, Zins. No, I tried one of Zin? Tom's Zins. Zin, Zin it was knowing. too strong for you. had to spit out the Zin. <laughs> What's a Zin? Is it like a, a jewel? Everyone wants to know what a Zin is. <laughs> a Zin is like, um, like, like a like dip, like, um, like the tobacco patches that you put in your lip. Like oh, so like an old-timey pirate? Like a snooze. Yeah. yeah. Or like a, yeah, like yeah, a exactly. What? Snooze. <laughs> A yes. zin is like a snooze? A zin is like a snooze. I hope that's clear. Yeah, We're moving yeah. on. <laughs> Dr. Snooze, the guy who's really high on nicotine. <laughs> it's, um, it's like a tea bag full of tobacco. You jam it in your upper <laughs> gum lip area. Okay, great. What's that yes. called? The, the fold. What's yeah, that? It looks the like fold. one of those silica packets, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Except yeah. it's tobacco. Don't need it. Oh, again. <laughs> you, are, you really shouldn't eat either of them. <laughs> yeah. 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 But you, yeah. you couldn't handle the, the zin. Uh, well, actually, it was less strong than an other Zin. Uh, my girlfriend bought me a box of Zins as a joke. But now, uh, hang on. Last Christmas. What was so fucking overwhelming about this? Oh, man. It's it's like, what if you smoked a whole pack of cigarettes at once? It's it's a, lot of, it's a lot of nicotine. Yeah. Or did you get a massive buzz off no, it? The, the worst thing about the Zins is um, they're, they're, like, they're not real tobacco. It's like artificial. It's kind of like, what if Snooze was a vape? Um, so, wait, so what you're saying is it's like yeah. nicotine well, do you guys do episode titles what if Zins <laughs> was a vape Pastor. surely it's... I think the title should be Zins are like Snooze if Snooze was a vape <laughs> a sentence which not would not have made sense to anyone uh, even four well, years ago it's, it's like it, I also it's like it is to cigarettes as K2 spices to weed basically like, it, it makes you yeah. mad okay. K2 spice you gotta, you gotta smoke it in the Himalayas baby to get the full effect <laughs> No, so yeah, basically it's because it's like a it's like powdered nicotine and stuff. There's no actual. And whereas stuff. snooze is like tobacco in a pouch. Yes, that you yes. Put in your, and and so it it tastes fucking horrendous. It's like it's like the strongest chewing gum taste you've ever had, but like really like chemically. I don't know. So the worst bit is the taste, but also it, yeah, you the room will spin if you leave it in there for too long. Mm. This okay. feels unnecessary. So my 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 I agree. brother grew up in the countryside, and like you know how people in the countryside have very like I I interesting ways to entertain themselves. So yes. one time he's like, well, we were bored, and then one of the guys who's like seventeen at the time um volunteered to put a whole like a whole packet of them. So like however many bits into his mouth oh, no. and then Robert my brother just showed me a video of a completely unconscious man <laughs> <laughs> he just took a video of an unconscious guy he went, he went, you're never going to guess how we got here <laughs> going through a wormhole Legend. to the flavor dimension uh -huh. <laughs> that's, uh, that's it's true about the countryside you have to find things to do or ways to escape your own brain Oh, you what? just think, I'm so bored. Yeah, yeah, I had a friend in Ohio who grew up in rural Ohio, and she said one of the things that they would do was with buttering. And to, uh, there's a name for it. I think yeah, it's buttering. I love this already. It's when you, when you melt the bottom of a stick of butter and stick it onto a mailbox and drive away. Yes, because yes. it freezes. Yeah. It'll yeah. stick on, and then this person's just got to sort of 
<laughs> but, butter, butter horn <laughs> on their mailbox. I can immediately see the appeal of that. <laughs> I, I'm on board with this. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. I, I a, like this. There's a lot of dairy in the Midwest. Yeah, that's true. They're big on that. So rich. Mm. Such a rich land. Yeah, Even yeah, the yeah. butter is a, merely a prank device. Imagine how owned you'd feel if you had a mailbox covered in butter. You'd be like, oh, god damn it, they got me. Yeah. <laughs> Been Not butter. This is the worst day of my life. The, le- the lower pack boys. <laughs> That's such a violent reaction. I think. I think I'd just be like, oh, that, that's it. That's yeah. the whole. You'd have bit. to wait till spring. Yeah. Yeah, you'd have yeah. to wait till spring. What if it's salted butter, then deer are going to come every, and lick it. Yeah. Every morning, coming out with a knife and just taking a little bit off for your toast. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. As you come that's out with your you toast win. to collect your mail. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A little well, wipe. What you're describing isn't actually a prank. What you're describing is a service. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You subscribe to butter wow. disruptors. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to disrupt Big Butter. We're just mm-hmm. butt yeah. ruptors. Butt ruptors. Yeah. Of course. I, that's a club. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Very different app. <laughs> butt ruptors. That's why I was Most... on New Year's Eve. That was really yeah. good. It's a great night. What a, what a, the amount of violence implied in that name is truly <laughs> appalling. You go in in 2023, yeah, you're yeah. out 2024. Yeah. Huh? You can fuck someone at the stroke of midnight. Sorry. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's what <laughs> This has just made me think of a story told to me by a friend of the show who I, who I won't name on camera, but who said that when, when he was a kid, uh, he had a slightly older brother. So his brother was probably like a young teenager and he was like maybe like 12. And uh, his brother had downloaded like, this is like early internet, downloaded like some weird porn. Yeah. And they were watching it together. A bit torrent lottery. They, they were just, <laughs> bro- hey, hey. Little you know bro. when you're you're at that age of being a teenage boy where watching porn isn't sexual, it's like a kind of like gross out like it's like jackass. It, the forbidden the forbidden <laughs> thing. We're gonna watch the Look forbidden what they're thing. Up to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it could be it could be porn, it could be a beheading video. Yeah. <laughs> like it doesn't really matter. Uh-huh. So, also, so it's on live leak, you're watching it. And also because of torrenting and stuff, you go it says it's a video about this, but yeah. Let's uh, find out. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. We were actually looking for David Dimbleby. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> he was in the video. <laughs> David Dimbleby, asshole gaping.exe. Exactly. Who's David Dimbleby? <laughs> the question time guy. Dot okay. exe okay. is Thank a great man. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But oh. if he were a vape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If he were a vape, question. that's news. Um, yeah. So. So basically, they're, they're, watching, they're, watching this, uh, they're watching this porn. And the porn consists in um, this woman is having uh, milk from the fridge. Poured into her ass with a funnel. Yes. And uh-huh. Yes, I'm and following. She, and she's going like, "Oh yeah, pour that milk <laughs> into my ass." Butt ruptures. <laughs> Butt ruptures. Butt ruptures. <laughs> the story's much funnier when you know where it's going. Okay, so then th- their dad walks into the room, and their dad is like a very, a very stern. So not in the video. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was going to say, how did you know? <laughs> There's a lot of expositionary dialogue. <laughs> Real father. Okay. Um, I... What are you doing in here? Father, no, it's milk time. Father. Uh, you mustn't <laughs> interrupt my milk. Okay, so he's stuck butter to the mailbox again. <laughs> oh no! The dairy boys got my daughter. <laughs> With this prank? Question mark. So, okay, IRL. The, the dad the walks IRL in. IRL dad walks in. Uh-huh. Very stern military man. And uh, and uh, the older brother like panics, and all he has time to do is turn the monitor off. But he hasn't turned off the computer. <laughs> so, so the audio is still playing. <laughs> Um, and, then, and then his dad just hears, yeah, pour that milk into my ass, and then just, oh, it's so cold. <laughs> and, then, and then just goes, what are you boys doing in here? And then just walks out again. Um, uh, I'll never understand this Linkin Park music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, um, yeah, that would not, be a... not my not my own tale, but a great tale nonetheless. Uh-huh. Blood uh, ruptures. Uh-huh. It's so cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's that's so what you wouldn't. Cold. That's what you wouldn't think of when having milk poured into yeah. your ass. But you want it to well, be room surely temperature. Surely room temp the milk first. That's crazy but what that, they're doing to that lady. That, that's <laughs> about, and the milk that warmer is a, on set. That yeah. tells you about the level of turnaround these porn studios <laughs> have to work with. <laughs> well, obviously, if we had time, we'd room temp, <laughs> we'd leave the milk out of it, but. Yeah. Put it, put it through the the baby milk warmer thing, like the Tommy Tippy. Do you think that they what full, testing full, it on your wrist <laughs> before putting it? Yeah. In full full fat milk, one percent. What do you think they went with? I don't know. I don't know what would be. Well, skim's probably cheaper, isn't it? Plant based. I don't know. Oat, yeah, I, it's oat. Oh. Yeah. Well, skim's they just have to process it more. Yeah. So you'd think logically full fat would be cheaper. Is the logical milk to pour into your ass? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, they definitely weren't using Channel Island. Let's or, be rational um, about this. No, they weren't using yeah. Gold Top. Do you think you absorb any of the nutrition of the milk yeah. through your bum? Well, you must do, right? Because you can absorb water you, through, you your, absorb, through your yeah, ass. Thank you, Ben Yeah, or bath soaked tampon. Yeah, you can absorb lots of stuff through your ass. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what we're here today to teach people. <laughs> you actually do <laughs> not like butt butt rupters. Rupters. <laughs> butt rupters. We think people aren't making enough of the other mouth. <laughs> what we like to call... <laughs> What do we like to call the other mouth? <laughs> it's going to get a little Steve Jobs turtleneck on. For too long, mouth has uh, <laughs> has tyrannical uh, grip. Are cooking today? <laughs> a, way of, mm-hmm. a way of eating. A lot of foods are perfect for the other mouth. It has a very like Hot um, dogs, Russian, Russian medicine vibe. Like yeah. you've got a cold, and then someone's aunt is like, "You must put milk in your ass." Uh, it's yeah. traditional. The Soviet I was scientists say that's too learned much, this. But the amount of times my mom has pissed on me. <laughs> what? Okay, what is what? First she's skiing into you. Now she's pissing that on video. you. <laughs> No, yeah. like a jellyfish it's so warm. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you room temp the piss? <laughs> Semi skim piss. Um, I will. <laughs> Clever, rational. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get jellyfished? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you get jellyfish, you get pissed on. But then also, mm. it's just a remedy for everything. If you get <coughs> yeah. um, what's it called? Nettle, nettle burn. Oh, yeah, stings, stings, yeah. Nettle, stings yeah. you piss on that. I was told you can piss do- on that. Do- <laughs> yeah, sure. Stings? Dock leaves. <laughs> Dock leaves, yeah. Dock yeah, leaves. Yeah, yeah that, but, but you were from a less kinky family. <laughs> yes, that's true. Yeah, you got to find the leaf, whereas you always had piss. <laughs> you know, some of us growing up had to figure out kink from nothing, whereas some of us, our parents were there to tell us all the tricks, all the piss, milk, and ass, you know. <laughs> you, you, well, it's, it's, you're going from nothing, you know, you have to, like, Invest in buying your own bindings and handcuffs and stuff, yeah. but you know you can save thousands if you just use family handcuffs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh my yeah, god! Yeah. That's yeah. why there are so many Austrians in kink. You know, yeah, it's a really yeah. nepo-based industry. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always you know someone's stepfather got yeah, them the yeah. job. <laughs> 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 that would be a really funny conversation to overhear at like a dungeon. Like, well, I'm sorry if I couldn't bring my dad's whip to the. <laughs> like, <laughs> Getting really like sensitive about the quality of your gear. <laughs> I grew up in a house with a combination washer dryer, but we had to make do. <laughs> it was unclear which of the two he was supposed to be stuck in. To the, to the manor born, just a very specific part of the manor <laughs> underneath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the dungeon born. <laughs> to the armory born. Born with a silver clasp on my tongue. <laughs> born with a born silver, silver plug in my ass. ass. A silver plug in my ass. That's. Uh. <laughs> That's the founder of that Raptors' yeah. main yeah. criticism. Yeah, well, what is that he's he came from money. Yeah. He was like, oh, you, yeah, you say you started Butt Raptors in your garage, but actually your parents yeah. gave you a small $250,000 loan. Yeah. I, uh, I'm fascinated by like, when they, you know, sometimes there'll be like a really bougie sex toy that they're trying to sell, and it'll be like, oh, it's like a 24 karat gold butt plug or whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm a total sucker for that stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, sir, it's going in an ass. It's, yeah. <laughs> It's, no. ro- it's rosewood, this, yeah. uh... No, honestly, <laughs> I'm... Porous. Yeah. Okay, what's the most yeah. expensive sex toy you've bought? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Riley! This um, is Riley, who did once Google best condom and buy the top <laughs> result. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what hexagons. Is, what is what, the best do you, condom? In what sense? It involves hexagons. Yeah. Well, it's a, you it's... can't keep saying that. Yeah. <laughs> first, 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 Vin is snooze. Yeah, yeah. And now we're into hexagons. Yeah. Is it like the the sort of latex, the weaving of the latex? Yeah, yeah. It's it's made of sort of interlocking hexagons of latex. Yeah. It looks like the Eden Project. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it the best? Yeah. What makes is it thicker? I don't know. I never got it. It arrived and it was taken from my porch. Oh, I thought you were like, I don't deserve this. Uh, someone stole it. Oh, yeah. I, I, I ordered it. Horny postman. And it, was, it was delivered. A safe horny postman. Mm. It was, oh, I ordered it and it was delivered. And it came to my front door. And then I got the text message from like, you know, Yodel. It's like, hey, your, your condoms are here, sir. Um, and then oh, I came. Yodel I think it was delivered then because they clearly opened it. Yeah, Yodel <laughs> did, did, delivered your hexagon condoms is such a like 2024 <laughs> sentence. Yeah, it's also what such happened? a badly written sentence. Yeah. Like, oh, it's the future, is it? Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so condoms are hexagons now. Yo- Yodel delivered your hexagon condoms. Wrote David Foster Wallace. <laughs> um, That's right. Yeah, so, Black and then, Mirror. 
they were stolen off of my front door, so I never got to use them. Do you think when the thief opened the hexagon condom box, it was like in Pulp Fiction, just like a golden glow? <laughs> <laughs> they immediately knew what they had. He came instantly. That's how good they are. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. It's a condom that you look at and you blast. You know, it, you know <laughs> That's how it keeps you safe. Yeah. The, the kinky family on Christmas Day, and they're like, I'm sorry, children. We'll have to raw dog today again. The, the, <laughs> oh the, the hexagonal condom thief has struck again. He's <laughs> ruined no Christmas. No one's chastity cage will be unlocked again. <laughs> Maybe next year. <laughs> please, uh, please, Mr. Scrooge, if you could just... Just the day off for an orgy, if you could... No. <laughs> even, even an hand job, sir, would make the world a difference. He's visited by, by Mr. Marley, who's still wearing chains. Yes, yeah, so. nothing yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's in a gimp suit. <laughs> <laughs> I, trapped in the gimp suit I forged in life, Ebenezer. <laughs> All of my misdeeds added another zip to my <laughs> horrible little costume. <laughs> there are so many padlocks on my penis game. <laughs> the readily available list of s and paraphernalia that needs to be on the top of your brain in order to riff this hard. Yeah. I, mm. it's I think alarming. it's internet brain. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Every, the I, average person has the knowledge of a 1950s serial killer now, I think. You'd have to be such a degenerate freak to have even seen 10% of what the internet has on the very surface. Yeah. Yeah. While you're talking about zippers and stuff, I'm still in my head working on a hypothetical riff where I'm having so much spicy food that I pour milk in my head. Uh, we're going back. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That, I'm glad you were working. Thank you. It took Thank a you. while, but uh -huh. here we are. I tried to do a bit once that was too disgusting to work, where I said, "Have you have you ever had hangover farts so bad you've considered using a Glade plug-in as a butt plug?" <laughs> <laughs> Just in an attempt to filter how awful they are. Mm. <laughs> and the audience, if they understood what I meant, were just upset. Uh -huh. I never thought what it was about, like, you know, comedy club people seem like yeah. they'd like that. No, it's too elaborate. Full guy for me. It's too elaborate. <laughs> Your Glade hangover fart butt plug joke. <laughs> it's, it's too, too delicate. Elaborate. It's too delicate of filigree. It's too, it's too visceral. This Lord Faulkner, I own a Glade plug in. <laughs> Coming up here to generic yeah. town, it no. We just we were lucky if we had a fisherman's friend to pop up there. <laughs> It burned, but it did do job. <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't Super like it. Elaborate. Yeah, they didn't. They hated no, it. Save it for a sort of cabaret night, something more, you know. Yes. Yeah, yes. I'm a bit more, something a little more intellectual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Hangover fart glade plug in. I'll save it for the drawing room. Yeah. I'll save it like for the. a humorous uh... one man play, perhaps. Save it for the kind of comedy show you have to open with, my lords, ladies, and gentlemen. A symposium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Symposium. Yeah, yeah. Probably would be stuff going up your ass at a symposium, to be fair. Yeah. Mm. So, you know, the other thing is, though, if you did that at a restaurant, they might give you, like, iron, maybe? Like some of like like the milk like um or mango lassi you put mango lassi oh, up oh, there. Okay, I back. thought yeah. you were just saying cool. iron weird. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. The 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 salty yogurt drink. Yeah. yeah. Beloved. To, to coat. Beloved of the Ottoman. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes, that kefir. But at a restaurant that they wouldn't pour it. Iron is like it's saltier yeah. than they, kefir. They, they oh, yeah, 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 I don't know what that is. Wait. So it is just like lassi. Plain yeah, but lassi. it's so salty. Really it's a salty kefir. Yeah. It's like salty milk. If you made if you made ice cream yum. out of it, you could sell it at a natural wine bar. Uh, mm. There used to be like a <laughs> now I get it, like a kind of like da Dagestani or maybe like Chechen kebab place next to where I used to go to the gym in Moscow, and I used to quite often get a, like a like a chicken shish or whatever after the gym. And I went there one day, and like, I'd kind of got to know them. They were, they were, they were nice people, would chat whatever. And then one day she just presented me with this like yogurt drink thing, and I was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't order that. And she was like, no, it's a gift. And then I and then I drank it and, and I was like, funnel. oh fuck! But she's like, she's like, yeah, that's right. But she's like, she's like looking at me as I have to like drink this salty yogurt and be like, mm, just, just what the doctor ordered. Thank you. I, like, I don't want to offend this nice woman, but why have you given me this punishing <laughs> beverage? I, I love UFC now. <laughs> it's working. Oh man, the amount of the amount of guys from the Caucasus you would see in Moscow wearing the UFC snapback, but also jeans and loafers with no socks. 
Yeah, it's a Kong Kong five gorgeous. foot five, jeans, loafers, no socks, UFC hat. Usually a uh, long sleeve sweater, but tight fitting, no shirt underneath. It's a complex wow. vibe. Yeah. That's my hexagonal condom. And then <laughs> if I saw that, I'd come in. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sexual. Yeah. And he drives a Hyundai Solaris. I I'm do. A... <laughs> one of my, um, okay, I'm going to not name names, but I okay. will say that one of my favorite critiques that Milo has ever had for one of my ex-boyfriends is the fact that he was wearing a sweater without a tank top underneath. Do you remember? Oh, yeah, no, that was fucked up. It wasn't <laughs> a sweater. It wasn't, it wasn't without a tank no, 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 top. Not, not top. He, was wearing, he was wearing like a loose fit V neck sweater. Could, like a yeah, jumper thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing, no, nothing underneath. Nothing underneath. No, no, was, was, yeah. You could see the nipples. And he was wearing yeah, like yeah. kind of baggy, sort of vaguely formal trousers, but that looked in bad shape and trainers at a wedding where everyone else was wearing like, you know, suit, cocktail dress. Like, wow. Wait, and so you kind could, of... could you see a V of chest hair? He wasn't a hairy man. It's, this is an older oh, boy. Oh, sorry, talking yeah. about. Somehow that's yeah. realistic. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. So just, this just, man looked nine years old. Sorry, sorry, I'm, clear. I'm, <laughs> a, I'm asking the question. An idiotic. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I yeah, want to yeah. know which one it is, and that didn't narrow it down at all. <laughs> <laughs> one of Olga's many projects. <laughs> <laughs> Can I make a man of this boy? <laughs> and the answer is always no. <laughs> <laughs> but that is a very... Um, that's a big move. It's so mm. sensory to look at someone yeah. wearing... Something knitted a, right against the bare nipple. Mm. It's just. I, I used to do that quite a bit. Oh. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> why is nipping today? Um, yeah, you are nipping though? today. No, no, no. I don't wear a V-neck. I, I like a crew neck sweater. That's yeah. less. That's less of a. a the V-neck yeah, is too Australian. Neckline is a, so crazy. Yeah, on a jumper. Yeah. <laughs> on a jumper. A shirtless man's Showing jumper. Showing cleave on a on a jumper. Yeah. <laughs> no. Showing that, a nice little patch of hair. Perfect. Whoa. No, no, no. I never did that. No, I, sometimes I would just be like, I'd wake up and uh, I, I always get too warm. And so I didn't want to wear the extra layer. I realized I should have just worn a t-shirt and a jacket now. Yes. Probably. <laughs> well, hindsight's 2020. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If only that technology had existed at the time. I was the jumper for blind people. <laughs> for too long. <laughs> oh my. No, no, I, I, I have a... I I've looked at local news again. All right. Okay. Oh yeah. All yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Um, this is from the Stevenage Comet. Okay. And there's yeah, been nice. a bit of a stir in Stevenage, um, because the rector has told children that Santa isn't real and quote unquote truth ser sermon. <laughs> <laughs> so truth this... sermon sounds like one of those like blogs that believes that you know like your Jews around the world or whatever yeah. like that. Okay. Do we have a direct quote from the sermon? Uh. How yes. How was the news broken? The uh, so it says more than 200 year seven pupils at Stevenage's Barclay Academy attended a carol concert at St. Nicholas Church hosted by the rector, Reverend Edward Keane. How old are people in year seven? Like 12. Uh, okay, you'd know by ten, then. 10 or 11. Yeah. Okay. Maybe Ele not. 11. No, 11. Minimum 11. 11. 11. Minimum yeah. 11. Minimum Start 11, 11. 10, 12. <laughs> eerily yeah. 12. Yeah. yeah. Eerily 12. <laughs> Yeah. This child was eerily 12. 12 at the start of year 11, you go, well, what's the story here? What's happening here? <laughs> Have you moved from somewhere? Yeah. Well, what are you, like a September 1st birthday? What's yeah, going on? Yeah, yeah, September 1st yeah. birthday. Oh, I thought oh. you were an August birthday. Well, Wait, there you're, you go. you're a September 1st birthday. What's the first line of your address? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which year? Yeah. Last four digits of your phone number? <laughs> and before your mother was married, <laughs> she would have been Mrs. Watt. <laughs> Wait, she, before she was married, she would have been Mrs.? Second marriage. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah, what was her previous married name? <laughs> <laughs> in a much more niche. Yeah, in a, in, a, in a near reality where everyone's been divorced lots of times, it was like, um, what, was, what was your mother's second married name? <laughs> uh, so one angry parent explained, he decided the whole of year seven needed to know Santa isn't real as they are entering the real world. Each to their own beliefs, but don't ruin the small bit of magic still left in the world for those who do believe. There's Aww. no magic man left in Stevenage. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's, it's a bit rich for a rector, to, a religious man, to mm. be like, that's true, it's true, it's true time. Ed, Ed Butt mm. Butters? What's it called? No, not Excuse me. Yeah, uh, Rupters. <laughs> I'm, I'm the rector of Butt Rupters. I'm the rector of Butt Rupters. All the titles are something to do with butts. <laughs> they made the C of E too inclusive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they pushed it too far. The Even rector, the LGBT but... community are like, nah, let's, let's roll this back a bit. <laughs> you have rectors now? <laughs> there's, there's the rector, there's the rear admiral. <laughs> yeah. Are of there course. any other butt-based titles that we can think of? <laughs> we'll think of them throughout the episode. We will. I'm sure we'll sort of 
Yeah. 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 Yes. 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 Analyst. Analyst. Yeah. So it's a cum pig. No. Yes. 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 No. It was nearly. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't right. Yeah. Right. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to that. There's something in that though. Cum pig. There's something in that. There's something in cum pig. I think it's. I think. I think it's cum. Something about the arsenal, about the chief of the arsenal. Yeah. That only works in a British accent though. Arsenal. If I say it, doesn't make any sense. Well, it sounded oh. the same, actually. <laughs> I don't know. Almost exactly the same. You actually nailed it, Riley. <laughs> you, you repeated after me, and it doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> okay. What is he saying? He's saying it's, it's, like the, it's in language. North America, it's the arsenal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. It doesn't make any sense in my head. Well, it, does, it, it gives sense. <laughs> no, because but not what you're intending. No, but, but no, the no, Americans still say arsenal. They don't say arsenal. They, they say the arsenal. The arsenal. Yeah. It gives sense, but it doesn't if receive from sense. Boston, yes. In the arsenal. I gotta go down to the arsenal, get some guns. <laughs> Come pig. <laughs> I, think, I think this the is a very version of babe. <laughs> oh god. The, this is a Come very pig. pig. This is a very Dawkins move by a by member a of the church. Yeah. 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 Mm. Well, so in response to parents' complaints, Reverend Keane pointed out that the concert was free of charge. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Get what you pay for. Very, very that's not what I asked. So. <laughs> yeah. Why and the then, fuck did you do that? <laughs> well, it was free. Sorry, what? You couldn't be religious in Stevenage. It would be, I've been to Stevenage and uh, it, it is it is hell. Mm. Although, if hell exists, you're in it in Stevenage. Although the Wine Society is based in Stevenage. Oh, yeah. Riley. Is it? It's yeah. true. That also seems like a perverse location for that. And also, why do you know this, Pierre? This feels off brand. I, I know my my friend Freddie works for the Wine Society, so he has to be in Stevenage a lot. Mm. He may oh. even live there. Oh dear. What happened? What does the Wine Society do? The Wine Society and what Stevenage? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, they try and suppress knowledge of Father Christmas mostly. <laughs> Yes, yeah, that yeah, is this, why the town was founded Father in, Christmas yeah. is real, but he only distributes wine to members of the Wine Society. Yeah. And yeah, no, yeah, it's, yeah. But very quickly. So the Wine Society was a cooperative started in 1874. <laughs> Shattered bottles <laughs> landing in your fireplace. He's been again. <laughs> <laughs> say, put them in bubble wrap or something, you mad bastard. He's been, he's been. <laughs> <laughs> Slurping out of the grate with a straw. Like, oh, this, this would have been, <laughs> been such a lovely, like, like Northern Rhone Syrah, if not for the glass in it. Um, yeah. No, so basically, it's a co-op that was started by some drunk rich guys in 1874 uh, to import port by the barrel. They're rich basically. guys in 1874. You didn't need to add drunk. Yeah. <laughs> We're yeah. presuming that. That's yeah. priced in. And so now... They're it's, like legitimizing their own drinking problem by saying that it's a society. Which is exactly mm. what I do when I talk about tasting notes. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So that now, they've just gone on as a cooperative. So you pay 40 pounds for a lifetime membership and then you just own a share of the wine society and you can just buy wine through them, which is where I buy most oh, of my cheaper? wine. It is also, it's, it, and also prices? it's wholesale and they have storage. So okay. I, I, mm. this isn't funny. This is just what I do. This is great. I that just, sounds amazing. I just buy wine before it's released. This and is then it gets... Spawn God. We're doing a read. <laughs> in the wine <laughs> It's a collab. Yeah. But we're, we're, doing, wine we're, doing, we're doing the wine society. And the they also, other, the yeah. other mouth has yeah, a Just shove the ball up your ass and do a hand they, they, also sell, they also sell Blue Chew as well. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All the other sponsors. <laughs> Wait, what? There's a lot of different tasting notes available through the other mouth. Like, <laughs> it mm. tastes of corn. It tastes of whatever you ate previously. Okay, yeah, yeah, can yeah. I share something really important to Riley? Yes. Um, okay, so, uh, Leo, for context, um, Obviously, Riley's very, very um, passionate about wine, mm -hmm. um, and he also is um, very passionate about defending the Canadian um, Canadian wine industry. It's really right. good. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. in Canada, they have a microclimate for it? I don't <laughs> no, know. Niagara Scotland. Well, there's one in, in southern Ontario, there is a piece of parcel of land called the Niagara Peninsula that is between an escarpment and a lake and a river that happens to have a milder climate than everywhere around it. You're, you're like a wizard giving us directions. Okay, so this <laughs> is yeah. where we'll find what we see. And so they grow yeah. uh, grapes there and they make wine in Canada in this tiny little patch of land in Canada. And sure, we'll, next to the escarp escarpment. Exactly, thank yeah, you. Yeah. Yes. And then Riley has talked about it so much that it's sort of like sunk in my head, but for, for some reason I was like, <sighs> this is clearly just like a Riley thing. And then mm. a couple of days ago I was in Toronto, Canada, 
And then I went to Little Canada, which is miniature Canada, and there's rooms. Wait, hang on, there's like an area of Toronto that's like Little Canada, and it's where all the Canadians, <laughs> <laughs> like the extra Canadian Canadians, are like, 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 yeah. oh, hey, it's, like, it's extra extra racist Canadians think that in Toronto, you know, there's all Canadians only live in Little Canada. <laughs> and, and like, it's like, oh, it's all the Danforth now. Can I offer you a rip, bud? <laughs> all my cigarettes are smoked in maple no, syrup. I hope you like it sweet. They love Zin. Hockey players fucking love Zin. Yes, yeah, so mm. Little Canada is between Chinatown and Little Armenia. Yeah, the and then, the Zin um, in in Little Canada, which is like essentially a museum of miniatures, they have the miniature wine region. What in like miniature. Rick's represented on yes! this? this yeah. And that blew my fucking mind because I wasn't lying. It's significant enough to have a whole room in Little Canada <laughs> dedicated to the wine. Is this this is not blowing your mind the way that it blew mine? No, because I know it's significant. <laughs> Well, they have the CN Tower and they have Niagara Falls and they have the wine region in miniature, tiny little I'm grape. St- I'm still hung up on Little Canada. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta go down to Little Canada and talk to Pierre LaPierre. We're doing a deal with them about the smuggled maple syrup. Hey, that's a real thing that happened. <laughs> Just cop, cops giving up on investigations. Let it go, Jack. It's Little Canada. <laughs> <laughs> that is a real thing that happened. We had a strategic maple syrup reserve to like that we could release to control prices. Like, o- like OPEC has why, with oil. Why don't you go and tell Johnny Sack to suck my dick? <laughs> he wants to change the price, he can come down here and tell me himself, huh? <laughs> it got stolen. The maple yeah. syrup? The yeah. maple syrup got stolen? Yeah. How, yeah. Did, how did you think There's actually it? a maple syrup Stick mafia in Canada. This is like a real... <laughs> no, it's a real thing that actually that happened. That sounds like a Scooby-Doo-ass crime. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that sounds like... like Paddington 9 or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Le Paddington. Yeah. Paddington in Quebec. <laughs> Paddington starts Little yeah. Peru. Yeah. <laughs> from the deepest, in London. From the g- deepest mm. jungles of Trois Rivières. One of yeah. Quebec's yeah. worst places. Sorry to anyone from Trois, Trois Rivières or Cette Île. All bad. I went, did I ever talk about that the terrible 10, vacation listeners. I went on? Let's tell us 12. about the t- terrible vacation you went on. Au revoir to our sponsorship <laughs> deal with uh, various Cette French Ile. Canadian uh, yeah. products. Yeah. Jacques Poutine yeah. Hart throwing us a letter of disgust. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So we drove up the North Shore of the St. Lawrence River in Quebec, Mm -hmm. and it was sort of my dad and his two brothers and their unwilling wives, basically, and me. We're like tied up. (laughs) (laughs) Well, no, we're grumbling, basically. Because one thing about Quebec is the further you get into sort of rural Quebec, the Mm -hmm. more it becomes sort of like the stereotype of the American South. Like lots of sort of... Guys wearing overalls with one strap down and a, like waving a gun at you and stuff. Yeah. Wearing a barrel, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's barrel country up there. Uh-huh. Wine and, barrel. Um, yeah, that's yeah. right. No, there's <laughs> no wine growing in Northern Quebec. Yeah. <laughs> maple maple syrup barrel. Um, <laughs> and I because I, I and I was desperate to be off the holiday because we were picking up like the new dog that I was gonna get because I wanted a dog for years. Uh, on you the way a back. French dog. So I was like, come on, come on, come on, fucking drive, 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 drive. And I got, I was I constantly car sick. Um, and it was just, uh, it, it, and it, it was, so just driving through, I think some of, like, you think Stevenage is grim. You've never been to Setil, you know, a, a, a place. That's true. Where, yeah. We have not been I've to never been to Stevenage. <laughs> yeah. So I can only imagine. Yeah. But weirdly, there is a branch of the wine society there. <laughs> That's where you get the barrels to wear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You think barrels grow on trees, boy? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it's like it's um uh like wineries in in Spain will use new American oak and that, but if you want to add a flavor of like northern this Quebec is very funny farmer. for people who know what wine. We've actually conditioned the the barrel by having a guy from Setil wear it for a time. <laughs> it would be quite nice to mm. wear a, a wine barrel if you had to wear a barrel. You get a nice smell, smell. Yeah, nice smell, smell nice. all day. If it's a slim mm. as well, a slim uh, fit. Like a slim, Ooh, like, oh, like oh, kind okay. of a sexy barrel. <laughs> Please get a bigger wine barrel. I can see everything. <laughs> <laughs> a oh. wine barrel that like finishes like mid thigh. A yeah. Winnie yeah. style wine barrel. <laughs> Yeah. Or it's just so yeah. tight somehow that yeah. you're know, like, your barrel's got a dick outline. How tight is this barrel? What, a, what you, an amazing Cooper you got this barrel from. You got a moose you, knuckle in this wine barrel. Because it's Canada. Yeah. 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 You're, you're wearing like a grey ash wine barrel to the strip club. Yeah. yeah. Sexy. Mm. Terrible. Yeah. Putting out a little cork so yeah. you can In the pee. 1960s, you know, they actually. Um, LBB, a little blank barrel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a classic dress, isn't it? The little black barrel. Mm. Oh. In my day, we didn't have a dress; we had to wear a barrel. 
Uh, anyway. Yeah. Uh, in response to the <laughs> no, no matter how drunk you were. Yeah. <laughs> or you could just squat, like, and you'd disappear. Yeah. You'd hide it from the police. Out. Sometimes <laughs> some the local barrel. ruffians would jump on top of you and run. <laughs> <laughs> It were mad. Only the only thing you had to worry about was Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> if he got an all the an all the you were in a lot of trouble. Oh, he, he was a bloody terror. A bully. <laughs> <laughs> someone, say, let her alone. She's refused, just rolling home. Someone refusing to engage with Donkey Kong because <laughs> he said bully. <laughs> You're a fucking bully. No one no one could reason with that eight. Somebody grew up with him. <laughs> no. <laughs> well they could like, tell all about Donkey Kong. Yeah. He was, yeah. he was beyond it. He was like Joey Barton. You couldn't tell him nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he does seem unreasonable. <laughs> what, the, the Donkey Kong Donkey... seems like an unreasonable guy? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I haven't heard his side of the story. Uh, and why And why is his first name Donkey? Yeah. He's an ape. Is there yeah. some kind of ironic, like a mafia nickname? He's got a big dick, I guess. <laughs> yeah, huge. <laughs> like, That's why he huge... wears that long red tie like Donald Trump. It's just hiding his Nintendo's his genitals. Nintendo's huge dick tape. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. Japanese guys in a meeting like I know what the children will love this ape with a huge dick and they're like okay well let's blur that out you right about about yeah the tie was added yeah. in post there's like there's a cheat code that takes the tie yeah. off and you yeah. can see the full yeah yeah full the full dong <laughs> yeah. oh they're absolutely yeah, I saw that video with my brother when I was a teenager <laughs> <laughs> sure <laughs> Pour- pouring Donkey Kong pouring milk into Donkey Kong's ass oh yeah. man there is absolutely someone who's drawn Donkey Kong with a huge dick and then masturbated to that drawing. That is, that is a yeah. guy. Yeah. I think that's the and only reason to learn how to draw. <laughs> 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 I I love and he's here tonight. I think it's all time. Yeah, it's it's one of my it. favorite little lines. <laughs> yeah. You see, you can say and he's here tonight just like in company. It's great. Yeah, as well. <laughs> I like that, but you're doing like an inspectacles <laughs> thing, and it's one of us, but we don't know which one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have to vote on who we think's done that drawing. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's Milo. It was society that did the drawing. Did we not all contribute to the Donkey Kong penis drawing? Mm. It was what, like consequences. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Or yeah. like um, um, Murder on the Orient Express. Everyone drew one line. Yeah. Of the... <laughs> Twelve people drew this horrible thing. <laughs> So that no one would be responsible. No, it's like a, it's yeah. like an old, it's like a firing squad where only one person draws the dick, but you don't know if you drew if you the dick. You did it somehow. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Murder on the Orient Express is such an insane book because it's like, well, you never saw that coming. It's like, no, because it's deranged. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 oh, they can't convict twelve people of the same crime. Yes, they can. You got, you, that's I love that when that's the, twi- the twist is like you, you haven't seen it coming because it, it doesn't make any fucking yeah. sense. I bet you couldn't guess my yep. stupid book. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> Oh, the whole time. Uh, it was aliens that did it. Yeah. Got you. <laughs> yeah. A real anti mystery caucus here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Give me give me a good give me a plausible mystery. Uh huh. What one where it's just sensible, where it's yeah, it's the person it was the boyfriend. Of course it was the yeah, boyfriend. Yeah, say that on page yeah. one and then describe in detail how they did it with clear to follow instructions. <laughs> <laughs> and how to get away with yeah. it, of course. <laughs> We're just like a crime detective show, but where it's just like what the police actually do. So it's just like, oh, TV's been nicked. It was probably Heroin Dave. Like, yeah, yeah. it was Heroin Dave again. <laughs> <laughs> dum, dum. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what all those crime network shows are because they run out of the insane murders of the series one. And then it's just... And the this l- l- lunatic who'd been in jail repeatedly for starting fights and shooting his gun at people got a w- new wife out of nowhere and immediately took out a ten trillion dollar life insurance <laughs> policy and wouldn't you know it someone murdered his wife the next day <laughs> ink still wet on the fucking insurance the plot twist it was an alien there's <laughs> <laughs> twelve love... people on a train yeah <laughs> one of, one of, that's why one of my favorite. One of my favorite sort of shows to watch just for oddness um, is the like police procedurals that are so successful they cannot be canceled, yeah. but have run out of ideas after season one. Like um, the, like the, the modern C- SVU. Yeah, yeah, like that. That's a perfect example. CSI um, had a furries episode. Yeah. Um, oh, what? Jesus. Someone shot a furry. Who drew this picture of Donkey Kong? <laughs> no one leaves. <laughs> Was it the Duchess? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The butler certainly has inky fingers. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Why that I see that butler's come in his pants. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm dreadfully sorry, sir. I just wanted to see what kind of hog the ape had. <laughs> but I didn't draw the beast. I was simply looking. I <laughs> only erased the tie. No, I was masturbating to this red herring with a huge vagina. <laughs> I've drawn. But I think um <laughs> No, um, balls deep and Chekhov's gun. Sorry. Yes. Perfect. Thank yeah. you. Chekhov's to the barrel bum. of it. Yeah. Chekhov's bum. That's just Chekhov's bum. He'll show us his bum later. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But now that he's mentioned his bum, it's going to have to come so up. When, when yeah. Chekhov, Chekhov is standing Chekhov's, in... Chekhov's, it's Chekhov's bum. Ah. How do you? How quickly do you think someone would correct you if you use that wrongly? <laughs> <laughs> well, we all knew that that was gonna. You're talking about a movie you've watched. You go, wow, check out bum. And Say it quickly enough that they're not sure. <laughs> An- Anton, how are your gamma roid there? Well, they are troubling me somewhat, I must say. <laughs> and enough of this. Three. Oh boy. <laughs> they try and cover it and they move it on. But enough of this. We are having uh, someone to stay. Andrew uh. Scott as Chekhov's bum. <laughs> In the play, the Daily Telegraph are calling, setting fire to the. West End. <laughs> I, CSI yeah. I had an episode Pouring where... milk down Chekhov's bum. <laughs> My ass is burning. It must be all of those cherries. Yes. Yeah. yeah. God, it would. Um, CSI had an episode where someone shot a guy in a, like a wolf suit. They thought like it was a, a furry? Yeah. What did that add or take away from the crime? I think the excuse was that they thought it was a sort of insanely large coyote. It was at night. <laughs> But that's sort of his <laughs> rifling through that bin. Because he was in the he was on the side of the highway or something. Stop. There was some Stop. there was some confusion element to it. Uh-huh. They thought up. furry of killing a furry was roadkill. Yeah. 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 Well, that's because yeah. yeah. these shows really they exist to explain. They they go through several phases. There's the normal murders phase where it's plausibly yeah. a show that makes sense. Then there is the um, sort of outlandish, bizarre nonsense phase where they just come up with stuff. And then there's the giving up and ripping stuff from the headlines phase. Yeah. Right? And yeah. so giving up and ripping stuff from the headlines phase, that's like, well, I, I've, they're making a new Grand Theft Auto game, so I suppose we're going to sort of see, oh, perhaps the murder was inspired by that. But really what they're doing is it's hiring Richard Belzer to explain an iced tea to explain Grand Theft Auto to 90 year olds. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, oh, basically. Oh, interesting. But uh, my favorite one isn't Law and Order SVU. My favorite one, as any fan of TF will know, the, the podcast that I do with Milo, is Bones. I fucking you love, do love Bones. Bones. I love mm. Bones. What's the premise of Bones? Well, thank um, you so much for asking. <laughs> 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 he paid me 30 quid to ask him. <laughs> um, and, uh, I, it's. An undiagnosed autist who's obsessed with bones solves yeah. crimes with a sort of ex quarterback who's now an FBI agent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and her name's Doctor Bones. Her name is Doctor Bones. Is that the one Dr. with Emily Deschanel's sister? In yes, it? yes, Emily Deschanel, based on a real person. She loves Zoe Deschanel. <laughs> yeah, based on Emily Deschanel. <laughs> uh, no, so it contains. So in one episode in season five, they're hired by the CIA to redo the autopsy, the, the ballistics on Kennedy. Okay, that's sick. That is sick. But the yeah. conflict of the show is that Booth, the Sealy Booth, played by David Boreanaz. Um, John he, Wilkes? Uh, yeah, no, he is John Wilkes Booth's descendant. No. That's one of the plot points. Hell yeah. Is that yes. he's like, well, I'm related to a president killer, so I'd rather solve this mystery. Oh, hmm. Yeah, it's it because if it runs My long enough, owned a book depository. <laughs> you have you because you have to make an hour of TV to entertain elderly shut-ins every week, and so just hmm. more stuff keeps getting folded into it. It's an expanding cosmology. It's like Marvel, but for people in their 80s. The most unrealistic bit of that is the CIA not knowing who killed JFK. Being like, <laughs> well, somebody's got to look into this. No, they're, they're being coy. Yeah. <laughs> who did think, it. Who did do you think it. drew this amazing picture of Donkey Kong? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of it? I, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you think? <laughs> Not the content, just on an artistic <laughs> level. No, no, yeah. Yeah, I mean the shading. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. The cross hatching. Can I tell Are you, you a getting secret? a <laughs> Yeah. We drew the picture of Donkey Kong, but we told people it was Malcolm X. <laughs> 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 we told them it was Castro. Mm. That's take, the take, thing. Lee Harvey Oswald had shaky hands. He never could have drawn a dick that straight. <laughs> yeah. And Jack Ruby the shot US him. The government would have you believe that this monstrously hung ape was drawn by <laughs> Lee Harvey Oswald, a man with no kind of artistic training whatsoever. <laughs> hey, I, put, I, I put it to you that David Ferry and this here Clay Shaw drew the ape with one of the 
homosexualologist. <laughs> <laughs> That's more or less the plot of the movie JFK by Oliver Stone. It's that, great. Very yeah, he great replaced movie. the word ape with the, the president. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he That's drew brilliant. the hung president. That's right. Difficult to, at least with CSI, as a crime thing that can re- repeat mm. all all big murders have to involve some CSI of some kind, right? Mm. Very challenging to say to yourself, no, only bones crimes. Only crimes where bones are important. Yeah, yeah. and to put it right there in the heading. In the title. In the it, title. Got, so he got shot and he died because the bullet went through his neck and he bled out. You go, right, did the bullet hit any, bu- hit <laughs> bones. any bones? <laughs> Would you say bones were involved? <laughs> but, so, but there's, in this episode, there's like... Was the bullet made of bone, perhaps? <laughs> in this episode, there's some subterfuge. Ooh. Because, like, they're trying to prove, they're trying to maintain Booth's faith in the U.S. government that they wouldn't do anything bad. Well, I fucking goodbye Lenin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for the American version. Okay. So they try, they put a watermelon on, like, a wheelchair so oh, that wait. Booth can recreate the Kennedy shot with, quote, the most hated weapon in America. That's what they call the Carcano rifle. The most hated the weapon most in hated America. The most hated weapon in America. Yeah. What is, like, CBT for Booth? Like what is that? It's like a ther- therapeutic well, it's, it's exercise. They're trying oh, to prove that a different kind of CPU. They're basically for Booth. They're basically yeah, he shoots himself. <laughs> in the shoots himself. <laughs> Much like Lee Harvey Oswald actually did. He shoots shoots himself in the balls. Um, uh, no, so <laughs> it was a one in a million shot. The bully re- bullet rebounded on Kennedy's head. Bullet. It went <laughs> it, 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 uh, down into the <laughs> plaza, turning into a camera in the library and saying, "And this is jackass." <laughs> <laughs> you shoot Kennedy in the head. Steve-O, what? Steve-O Crazy. wearing like a little model rubber Kennedy head over his penis. <laughs> the first season of Jackass, it was the same cinematographer. Shooting a tiny gun. At it. Shooting a tiny gun. <laughs> He's like poking it through the floor of like a model car. They went through Connolly's shoulder, through JFK's hand, up and back through his neck. And, and then in- every bone mm. in his body. <laughs> and then... Ah. Dun, dun. Yeah, and then Wee burns. Man is stood in the corner with another gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. On the grassy knoll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, so, mm. so they're sort of trying to prove that whether the Warren Commission was right. Is a watermelon rind meant to be the same structural integrity as bone? It is the same structure as Kennedy's head specifically. <laughs> had a rare disease. Yeah, he, would, no, he did actually have a rare, he had a, a rare disease, did what Kennedy. I think he had spina, no, he didn't have spina bifida, that was King Tut. He, he had like a spine thing. Hang on. Why are you so confused? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Smiled next to Tutankhamun. Hang on. Hang on. How socially close were you with Tutankhamun <laughs> that you feel able to abbreviate him? So whimsically. Uh, oh, Tony. No, you're thinking of Tut. Oh, Tutty. <laughs> no, that's Tutty's got that. Tut. Oh, sorry, Tutankhamun. <laughs> oh, wow, you are connected. They buried um, Kennedy in the Bass <laughs> Pro Shops pyramid. Did you call him King Tut because of the Steve Martin? Like SNL sketch. No, that's that... just what that's just what I always knew him as. <laughs> well, you, you know, mean? down the local bar, he was you know, <laughs> Tutan Carmoon for four more days. Yeah, 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 very yeah. funny. Airs <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and graces after he was dead, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. alive. Very Remember, casual. it's Tudders in slut, not Tudors in boot. <laughs> 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 the first time you meet him, it's your pharaoh. After that, Tutty. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, everyone, tuts and teeth. <laughs> <laughs> after death, good presentation, uh-huh. lots of gold. <laughs> But they had to send him to Turkey after he died to get his veneers sorted out. It would be horrible to see a mummy with perfect dentures in, <laughs> just but all shriveled but around them. Just looking like Ryland. Bones. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, bones would have a lot to say about that. Yeah. Those but aren't what? the right bones, she'd say. <laughs> 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 and there the mystery would begin. Well, that's, that's, your, that's your suitcase full of piss thing, right? Where it's sort of... Thank you so much for understanding. Yeah, where yeah. Suitcase full of piss is something that is... I got it. Okay. <laughs> I got it from context. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's where a classic it's... suitcase full of piss thing. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, where it's Something like... that isn't illegal but wrong. Yeah. Which, uh, uh, mummy as would... in you can fill yeah. up suitcase yeah, but full of Well, not even necessarily wrong, wrong, but it's weird. It's yeah. weird, but it raises it's questions. crucially not illegal. It's okay. as weird and horrible as something that is a crime, but, mm. but it is not, not a crime. For example, a mummy with perfect teeth. <laughs> yeah. Perfect example. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a suitcase. Not illegal. A mummy with like Tony Robbins level veneers. Yeah. Giant chompers. Yeah. Mm. Not um, illegal. Yeah. Not yeah. well, kind of illegal. You're tampering with a mummy. If you did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are twelve of us all put them in. If I did it, but about putting ten <laughs> in the mummy. If I, if, I, if I did it, brackets breaking into the British Museum and giving all the mummies better teeth. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Robert Kardashian <laughs> demonstrating that the nose hook doesn't even fit into O.J. Simpson's right. hand. <laughs> there's, no way, there's no way he could have extracted the mm. brain. But why did he have the canopic jars? <laughs> Just to be accused of embalming yeah. someone. 
<laughs> um, the, the CIA killed OJ Simpson's wife is a very funny. 